guys, it's Sushix here, and welcome back to Pixelmon Journey. This is episode 3, and uh, we are head continuing on, on our journey in this Pokemon Center, which we left off last episode. Uh, and uh, I think we are one level away from evolving our Pidgey, and three levels away from evolving our Oddish. So I want to get those done today. I don't really know what we're going to be doing. Um, I guess we're just going to be going and exploring and stuff, and uh, seeing if we come across it. What's, what's this guy doing here? Wait. Oh, no, 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 what's going on here? Hello, Rizuko, what's going on? By the way, thank you for the comment, Rizuko, here you are. Um, <laughs> help, Super Sushi, some fire Pokemon trainers have set up a lava-filled base over there and are destroying the land. Please make them leave. Oh, jeez. All right, uh, <laughs> I'll see what I can do, but this looks pretty uh, terrifying, actually. Um, all right. Um, oh, here we go, here they are. Okay, so we got, uh... Um, what, fire trainer base thingy over here? And, uh, we have, we have the guy over there, but I think we need, we, uh, need to defeat these grunts before we get to the master guy. Um, I don't know what this is, but we are going to, uh, we're going to, uh, fight it, I guess. Oh, uh, we've got full, full health Pokemon. Um, I think we're good, and I think Bubbles could probably take these guys, seeing as they are fire and we are water. But, uh, let's get straight into a battle. I don't know how to battle these guys. Oh, wait, I just, like, throw my Pokeball on them. Fair enough. Oh, Camerops, level 33. Holy crap. Okay, um, uh, water gun. Decent damage, decent damage. But we are burned. Alright, uh, another one. And another one. Yes, we killed him! Alright, awesome. Uh, PG 18, 19, 20, 24 on bubbles, 25 on bubbles. And he learned protect. Wow, these are really good levels. Um, water gun, rapid spin, get rid of rapid spin, who needs that? Um, next we have coughing at level 35. Uh, bite. Oh no, that did like no damage. Water gun. Okay, that did a little bit better, but we did die. Uh, Pidgey. Go Pidgey. Okay, uh, tackle. No, okay, that's not doing anything. We probably will lose this, but we can come back. We got we got high levels now, so we can come back and uh, try this again. Try this over and over again to defeat these guys. I think I I don't know. I have a feeling that it's going to be rewarding if we kill these guys. I think I think we're going to get something from it. Wink, wink. Um, uh, sleep powder. We pretty, uh, okay. Oh wait. Okay. So our PG is still evolving, which is great. So we have a Pidgeotto, but we are going to have to come back and defeat this Grunt. Um. I feel like this grunt is maybe a little stronger than it should be. <laughs> um, hopefully the other grunts aren't this strong. Um, both of his Pokemon are like level 30. Uh, if he has more than one Pokemon, we might even be more screwed than I than I thought. And uh, there is a free painting over here, so I'm going to take this painting. And uh, we're going to put it on this tree, and there's a little Cyndaquil there. Um, Alright, so we're going to go back and heal. Uh, I'm sorry, Rizuko, i got to heal up my Pokemon, I'll be right back. I am going to defeat them, I swear. Alright, so we gotta we got to heal up our Pokemon here. And, uh, try this again. Oh, Pidgeotto actually has health now, because he evolved. That's kind of cool. And, uh, maybe a glitch. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna head back. We definitely need Bubbles to do all the work here. We might even get Bubbles to evolve after all of these battles. Because these guys are really, like, really strong. But they're all water, so they're actually quite, quite easy to defeat. Um... This camera up does a lot of damage, but super easy to kill. Alright, 21, 22, 26, Twister... Uh, Whirlwind blows them away. Twister does damage. Get rid of. That's 50, it's 40. Quick attack is 40, but it's quick attack. Um, let's get rid of Tackle. Alright, uh, next. Okay, we're just gonna water gun this coughing. and try and do as much damage as we can, but we're not gonna be able to do much before he kills us. We're on one health. We can get off one more attack and then we die. Alright, Pidgeotto, come on. Let's just defeat this one guy and then we can move on to the next one. Uh, Gust. Uh, ooh, I don't know. This could actually be close. Oh, uh, never mind. And I don't think Oddish has the ability to actually do damage, because he can only do acid, and acid will do, like, next to nothing. Oh, wait, can he can he pull it off? Can he pull it off? <gasps> Oddish is going to pull it off. Oh, my God, he's a legend. Oh, no, wait, no, he missed. <gasps> oh, no, he was so close to winning. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put EXP share on our Oddish so he can start to gain some levels. But we are going to have to go back and heal again. You know what? I'm just going to break this wall here. So, wait, 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 wait. Can I break? Oh, breaking wall is so annoying. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to break uh, this. Nope. This. There we go. Alright, there's the healer there. Because I can't be bothered running back in. So we can just run behind here and heal up. Alright, we're good. Let's go versus this guy again. Um, hopefully we can kill this grunt finally. Uh, I don't know. Our, our, we're gaining like good levels though from this camera which is pretty easy to defeat. And this camera did no damage to us, which is really, really good. Alright, Oddish is going up levels. Oh, he's going to be evolving now. That's awesome. Um, get rid of Sleep Powder, Stun Spore, Acid, Mega Drain is good, so let's get rid of Stunspore and Water Pulse. Ooh, Water Pulse. 
Uh, bite is 60, this is 60. Get rid of tackle then. Alright, so now we have... Now we have water pulse, which is good. Use that on coughing. Okay, come on. Maybe, maybe Bubbles will be able to kill him. Oh my god, Bubbles is gonna kill him. Oh my god, he has one health! Oh my god, Bubbles the legend. And we got uh, a gold nugget for defeating him. And our Oddish is evolving, yay! So, uh, if you guys weren't aware, gold... Ingots and gold uh, nuggets are the currency in this world, so when we eventually get to another town and they have a Pokemart, we'll be able to buy stuff. Maybe we'll find travelers along the way that are going to be selling stuff. So uh, any any gold ingots or nuggets will be is is great to gain from a trainer, which is which is really good. So uh, evolved into a Gloom. So now we have a Gloom and a Pidgeotto. So that's two evolutions this episode already, and uh, and the Grunt disappeared. So now we have uh, this last oh so, sorry not last second Grunt. And, uh, and, uh, why did we instantly go up levels there? What? What just happened? That's weird. Uh, okay, so Water Pulse. And this Flareon is going to kill us. This Flareon is very high level. Uh, Gust. Oh god, he one-hit us. And, uh, wait, where's the move that you're supposed to have learned? Man, it glitched up again. He didn't learn the move. That sucks. Alright, and, okay, you're dead. Ugh, alright. Alright, I set up the quick way of doing it. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's uh, heal up again. This is taking a lot longer than I thought. Um, all the levels in these Pokemon are, uh, are quite high. Didn't uh, expect that. Um, <laughs> let's uh, let's continue on. And uh, we're going to eat some steak. And, uh, oh, the ground is all lava. Um, Alright, so I think Bubbles can take on this Flareon. He's level 39, though. That's really, really high. Like, our Water Pulse is doing, like, nothing to him. Uh, Water Pulse. Oh, God. Oh, come on. No! Alright, quick... Okay, Pidgeot, use Quick Attack, though. Quick Attack. Oh, my God, you still didn't get him! Uh, Acid. Yes! Oh, my God, and you only had the Flareon. Okay, that's good, that's good. Gloom didn't even gain any levels from that, though. That's really weird. Alright, we're gonna go back and heal again. Oh, my God, it's just... Defeat someone, heal. Defeat someone, heal. Defeat someone, heal. Ah. <sighs> And Paris is climbing into the Pokemon Center. God damn, Paris, that's not what you're supposed to do. Um, alright. Let's defeat the third Grunt, and then we have the Master. We have Mr. Da Panty, which is a commenter from down below. Um, so Gloom, okay, so now Gloom's going up level. So that seems to be a new kind of error glitch thing in Pixelmon, where, uh, sometimes they don't gain the levels until afterwards or something. I don't know. Um, but we can water pulse this coughing. Oh, wow, that did a lot of damage. I think we critical hit him. Yeah, boy. Oh, Bubbles is doing work. I'd like to see a Blast Toys this episode. He's level 30 already. Oh, my God, and a level 40 Charm Million. Oh, my God, they're so high level. We are out of our depth here. I mean, we're still doing it, but it's just taken a long time. Um, and water pulse. Yes, we got him, and we got another Golden Got. Awesome. <sighs> You know, I'm gonna have to go heal. We're ready for the. I think we're ready for the master, though. We're ready for the big boy. Is that a heal? No, that's a PC right there. All right, uh, let's do this. <sighs> Are you ready, guys? Are you ready to defeat the big guy? I don't know what's. I don't know what's gonna happen when we try and defeat the big guy. Uh, all right, let's head up here, Mister Depanty. Bam, 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 and we're gaining levels now. <laughs> Ba, ba, ba. Okay, Flareon level 51. Alright, so, uh, Water Pulse. Oh my god, oh my god, that was too strong. Too strong, we didn't do any damage to him. Okay, we might not be able to kill this guy yet. We might have to go do some training and come back. Because he's, uh, stupidly strong. Look at this, look at this, we're just unable to do anything. And especially because Gloom is grass. <sighs> okay, we're gonna have to go do some more training, I think. Maybe try and get Blast Toys before we, uh, face this guy. But, uh, we will beat this guy by the end of the episode. So, uh, don't, don't, don't switch off just yet. We gotta see what happens when we beat this guy. Um, and also don't forget to leave a like down below if you, if you do enjoy this episode. I kind of forget to mention it, um, because, uh, things got exciting. Um, but we gotta try and find someone to train against. Oh, and also last episode hit the 150 likes, which I asked for, which was amazing, so thank you guys so much. Uh, I think it's already on like 180 likes after a day or two. Uh, so thank you guys so much for that, and, uh, I will be uploading this mod pack and this world save to, um, Technic, and you guys will be able to download it probably by next episode, as long as I set it up by next episode, so, um, that's all good. 
And uh, yeah, so if we could try and hit like 150 likes again, um, just because you guys are so awesome, I, I believe in you guys, and I know that we can we can hit that like goal. And don't forget to leave a comment down below with your Minecraft username so I can turn you into a trainer like I have done for Rizuko and Mr. DePanty. And uh, leave your nicknames down for Pokemon. And now that I'm remembering that, I have a nickname, a new nickname for Gloom. So shout out to uh, Chalkins, who gave us the uh, the name Lilo for our uh, for our well, it was an Oddish at the time, but Oddish slash Gloom slash uh, Vileplume. So, there we go. Our Gloom is now Lilo. And, uh, again, shout out to Chalkins for that. Ooh, a boss! A boss! A boss! Oh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. Yes! He's uh, a blue boss, only 10 levels higher. Water Pulse does not do that much damage, but he's not doing that much damage to us. So, we should be able to win this one pretty easily. Hopefully, we get something good. Give me something good. Give me something good. We I feel like we're doing less damage. Ah, uh, there we go. Ooh, Solar Beam and Carmine. Okay, I don't care about Carmine, but Solar Beam, holy crap, that's really good. Especially, like, we could put Solar Beam on our Vile Plume, and our Vile Plume would be really good. <laughs> Ooh, getting Solar Beam from a blue boss, that's amazing. That's actually really, really good. Um, a lot of spinner acts around, uh, reminiscent of the first episode. <laughs> um, I wish those trainers stuck around, though, because we could just continue training off them until we we're ready for the big guy. Uh, level 9 spinner rank. There's a drift loon, uh, drift bloom up there. I, I wonder if we could kill him. Uh, what level are you? 32, drift blim, sorry. My bad. My bad. Alright. Uh, it's pretty much just all on bubbles at the moment. Because I don't think our other Pokemon are going to be good for versing the boss guy. And he's level 51 Flareon or whatever it was. Uh, do we have... Wait. Oh, wait. I want to... Oh, wait. We should be using our potions and stuff. It only heal. Oh, it only has twenty health. That's yeah. That's pointless. Uh, we got to get better potions. Come on, just keep water pulsing him. You got this. Oh wait, what does bite do? Damn it. Uh, whirlwind. No, not whirlwind. Um, twister. Flying moves will be pointless, so I'm just using twister. Come on, keep twistering him. You're doing the tiniest bit of damage, but I don't think he can hurt you. I don't think he has any moves that have an effect on you. So yeah, just keep doing it. Keep going. This is perfect. Oh my god. So our Pidgeotto is going to gain levels and our Oddish as well because he has a uh, EXP share. So this is very slow, but uh, we'll eventually kill him. Come on. Yeah, there we go. 28, 23. Awesome. So they both gained a level. Um, we should go back and heal Bubbles though. Um... Let's eat this. Oh, I'm going to open up my backpack and just put some stuff away. Oh, no, wait. We should keep this on us. Put our gold nuggets away, though. Solar beam. Um, and, uh, yeah, we have a lot of useless stuff here. And I should probably increase my backpack size soon. We should go mining in the next episode or something. Gather some resources, because we also don't have the best tools. Um, I had a spinner rack. All right, so let's head over here. Bam. Let's heal up a bit. I mean, we could try and take on the boss, but again, he's like 20 levels higher than our highest level Pokemon, so that's going to be an issue. I didn't re realize Lilo was already level 28. That's so much higher than it should be. <laughs> we should go back to our Pidgeotto training now. Um, yeah. If we can defeat this guy, though, we'll get our Blast Toys. And that's what we really need. Oh my god, the damage is so high, though. Okay, he used Helping Hand. Just keep using Helping Hand. Damn it. Uh, like... I'm ho I'm just hoping that we get lucky, and that he just doesn't use a lot of damage moves. Uh, acid, yeah, acid. All right. Well, that didn't work out. I'm gonna try one more time, and if this doesn't work, then we're gonna have to go back to training, getting ready to defeat the big guy. He's very, very strong. Um, I think I've realized why he's so much stronger than I uh than I anticipated. And, uh, there's nothing I can change now, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it makes for an interesting episode of training. So, what is that up there? What is that? That was not a pharaoh or anything you'd normally see. Ooh, wait, it's was like a... Wait, what, what Pokemon is that? What Pokemon is that? Hey, 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 come back. Oh my god, there's so many cool flying Pokemon that have been released lately. Like, in all the latest Pixelmon releases, they've been, like, adding new flying Pokemon. Uh, if you haven't seen my uh, Pixelmon update video, please go check it out. Uh, they added Altaria and Staraptor. And, uh, or, like, those, uh, evolution lines. And, uh, previously they added, like, a bunch of... Oh, and Chatot they added as well. And they're all flying Pokemon. Previously they added other flying Pokemon. So I don't know why they're adding so many flying Pokemon. I think it's because, 
Like, if you walk around, you'll generally only see uh, Pharaohs flying, which is, you know, a little weird. Um, Magikarp, Oddish, Oddish. Why are they so, li so low level? We need high level Pokemon to train against. We need to find, like, another Drift Blim or something. Uh, come on, give me something good. Oh, there's an Electabuzz. That might be good. Uh, what level are you? Come on, why isn't your level showing up? Uh, there we go, 29. Hopefully we can, uh, if we just use Bite, what, how much damage does that do? Oh my god, he does so much damage. Oh my god, he's super effective, alright. Acid. Yeah, alright, so Lilo's gonna be gaining good experience from this, I guess, and our Pidgeotto. So I guess it's now just our Pidgeotto and, uh, and Lilo just catching up to Bubbles. That's pretty much what's happening. 24... Because Bubbles keeps dying to anyone we try and uh, try and beat, <laughs> which is not good. Because pre he's pretty much our like only savior against this fire trainer. Um, all right, so let's heal up again. We're probably going to be healing so many times. Good thing that this is right next to a Pokemon Center. Otherwise, it'd be pretty much impossible. <laughs> um, so let's let's eat up here. Um. Okay, we're going to continue. Okay, I think it's called like Macro or something. I'm pro Merc Merco? I don't know. Something like that. I think that's the Pokemon I'm thinking of. Um Mill tanks are generally low level. Oh, there's a squirtle down there. I'd love a squirt. Oh wait, I I just realized if we have a war turtle. Uh I was I, all I saw was like Squirtle. It's a water starter Pokemon. That'd be great. And uh and then I realized we started with a Squirtle, so you know, I'm a little stupid sometimes, don't worry. Ooh, an Arbok. Yes, 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 yes. Arboks are generally, like, level 30-ish. Maybe even 40 sometimes. Uh, 39. There we go. All right. Water Pulse. Oh, my God, he does so much damage. They're either too low or too high. And he killed us. All right. Acid probably won't do much because it's ineffective. Yeah. Mega Drain. Or we could just... No, okay. We're not gonna be able to defeat this guy. Yeah, all of our Pokemon are, are pretty weak. Maybe maybe Pidgeotto can pull off a miracle. Never mind. Um <laughs> okay, let's head back. Um it is this way, right? So they're either too low and we barely gain any experience from them, or they're too high and they just kill our Pokemon. Like bubbles like it just can't defeat anything, and there's no the issue is there's no deserts nearby. If there was a desert, we'd be able to train so fast. Where is the roof forest biome? I'm already lost. Um, oh, God. Which way did we come from? I think it's this way. Because I see a mushroom, and I think... Okay, I think that's the Pokemon Center we were at. Oh, God. I can't find any good Pokemon to train against. And this episode just, like, keeps on ticking away. Uh, okay. Let's, uh... I mean... Why did they have to build their fire base in a forest, okay? Why can't... Why... You you know? Like, yeah. Why can't you do it in a desert where I can just train around you? You know, that would that would kind of, like, you know, make sense. Or something. Although, I don't feel like they want to make sense. You know what, let's try this one more time. Uh, I've said this so many times, but let's try it again. Against this level 51 Flareon that's just bullshit. Ugh. I mean, I mean, like, maybe we can get lucky and can confuse the Flareon with our Water Pulse, Sleep Powder. Oh my god, we actually made him go to sleep. Alright, Acid. G stay asleep forever. Stay asleep forever. Oh my god. Alright, Sleep Powder. Oh my god, he used Bite and killed us. Whirlwind. Oh, wait, and he's got a Charmeleon. That's also level 51. God damn it. Alright. Uh, how much time have we been going for? Uh, it's been 19 minutes. Alright. I don't want to do this, but seeing as everything kind of did not go as planned in this episode, um, basically, that trainer was supposed to be set up to have, like, level 20, mid-20 to 30 level Pokemon, and he actually has a third Pokemon, and it's, like, also higher level than the Flareon and the Charmeleon. So this is an issue, and to continue the episode, we might need to lower the guy's Pokemon. To do that, I might need to do a cut. Um, I probably won't make it into the 20s, but I do need to make it lower. So I'm going to cut the video, make the levels fairer to where we currently are in our Pixelmon journey, and uh, I'll be right back. 
Okay, we are back, and uh, the levels have been slightly adjusted to be fairer for this episode. Um, it's still going to be a little bit of a challenge, I'm pretty sure. And uh, oh, 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 and uh, we are finally going to beat him. I think what the issue was is I made him uh, like a, a like a legendary trainer or something like that, which I didn't realize increased the levels of the Pokemon. I just thought it changed the color of the name and made them cooler. Um, but uh, yeah, as you can see, his name is a different color now, which means he's a different type of rarity, and his Pokemon are a different level. So as you can see, the Flareon is now 36, a lot fairer for this battle, and uh, now we are actually going to be able to kill some of the Pokemon. Even if we don't win this immediately, uh, we are going to be able to uh, get some experience off the first couple of Pokemon, like we did with the other Grunts. Uh, but yes, we're getting amazing experience, and we got Aquatail, which is great. Alright, so let's get that uh, Aquatail on Charmeleon. It missed. Okay, Aquatail again. There we go. Aquatail again. Yeah, boy! Alright, and Magma is the final Pokemon. Ooh, Feather Dance. Uh, no, I don't care about that. He's level 38. Can we kill him? Okay, he kills us. Maybe Pidgeotto can do some, uh, do some work. Gust. Oh my god, I don't know if we're going to be able to win this, but if we do it again, we should be able to win. Second time around, we should be able to win. Uh, Acid. Okay, he's asleep, I think. Is he asleep? Yeah, he's sleeping. Alright. Maybe Lilo can pull through. Maybe he can be a legend. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Alright, let's head back. This should be the final attempt at killing this guy, and then we'll see We'll see uh, what happens and what this means for the rest of the journey. I mean, this is kind of like a weird thing to come across, and I don't know, maybe there's more of these things across the land. Maybe there's uh, a big mystery here that uh, we should uh, try and figure out. But hopefully Bubbles evolves from this battle. I don't know. Water Pulse. There we go. Um, Aqua Tail, Water Pulse, Water Pulse, yes, all right, Magma, Aqua Tail, ah, goddamn, did we actually use Aqua Tail though? No, oh my, oh my god, oh my god, all right, okay, uh, Sleep Powder, but it missed, Sleep Powder, but it missed, go to sleep, go, go to sleep, oh my god, finally, Acid, we just have to keep using acid. There's nothing else we can really use. Acid. He's still sleeping. Acid. He woke up. Sleep powder. He's back to sleep. Alright, acid again. Yes! Go, Gloom! Go! I mean, Lilo! Go! No! He's so close! Quick attack! Yes! Yes! Oh, Pidgeotto, you legend. Alright. Wow, we got some really cool stuff. We got uh, three blocks of gold, which is like a bunch of money. Um, it's, what, uh, one block is nine times what a grunt gave us, so we got 20 times, or sorry, 27 times what the grunts, uh, gave us, or like nine times what we got in total from the grunts, and then we have this fire element thing, so, I mean, I don't know what that is or what it does, but we should probably keep it and see what we can do use it for in the future. Uh, but we did finally defeat the guys. Hopefully this land will go back, or slowly go back to normal. Um, but, uh, yeah, we defeated this guy. We got the fire element. <sighs> we're good. I think, I think we're good for this episode. That was, uh, it, that was an intense episode. Unfortunately, we didn't evolve our war turtle. That'll probably happen next episode. Um, we didn't catch anything either, but, uh, that was a really, uh, a really intense episode of, of fighting this guy, and, um, next episode we'll continue, we'll actually leave this place and continue on our journey, and maybe in an episode or two we'll be able to run into a town and, uh, find our first gym leader, because this wasn't even a gym battle. This is as intense as a gym battle, it wasn't even a gym battle. And, uh, maybe we'll finally find out what this, uh, fire element means. Um, but until next time, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave a like down below. If you did enjoy the episode, leave a comment down below with your Minecraft username and your nickname for any Pokemon we come across. We pretty much only have one Pokemon at the moment that needs a nickname. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already to keep up to date with all of the Pixelmon journeys and my other series, Sims 4 and uh, TPPI. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Pixelmon Journey. Bye!